Hello lads and lasses, and welcome to what is going to be the first episode of our Terraria Drunk World series. So, I have done this before. Uh, I've done the Drunk World playthrough before, kind of. Um, I started it, and never actually finished it because I lost the world. Uh, I had to reset my computer and lost everything. So, we're going to be doing it again, but we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. So, I'm actually going to be doing this with a new character. Uh, we'll name him Giz. Right? Just because I am going to be the first person, and it's actually going to be hardcore. So I'm doing hardcore hard mode on the Drunk World playthrough. But we're doing things a bit differently, and I'll explain to you guys as we get into it. For now, let's go and create the character that we pretty much always create. Because I love the character. Uh, where is the outfits? Alright. And then a bit of blue. Well, actually, let's go a bit green, because green's our colour. Yeah, I think that looks good. Alright, so about here, about here, about here. Yeah, green's our colour. So, might as well go green. Let's make this a bit darker, eh? Yeah, it looks about good. Alright. And we've got Giz. Then, a new world, and... Yep, yeah. and now I've got a seed that we're using, the Drunk World Seed. 5162020 is the Drunk World Seed. You guys can actually find the different seeds on the Terraria Wiki. Uh, they have them on there. My music seems to be a bit loud, but I can't really turn it down much. Okay, I think that will be about good. And we're doing this on Master. Alright, so let's go ahead and create the world. And as you can see, when you're loading in the Drunk World, it tends to get a bit crazy. And that's just kind of the background of the Drunk World. Uh, that's just how it loads in. So there's a lot of cool things about the Drunk World. Uh, you guys can look it up on the Terraria Wiki. I'll actually put a link to the um, Secret World uh, Seeds. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video so you guys can check that out. So how are we going to be doing this diff video different than the ones that I've done currently and before? So I'm doing Hardcore Hard Mode. Uh, master mode I guess which as you can imagine is a little uh it's very hard but here's the thing the way that I'm going to set up this world is I'm going to pause everything is that there is okay so the storyline behind this is that there is a spaceship above this world and they are trying to colonize this world but every time they send someone down they have a hard time of establishing a foothold because the world is just crazy. It's difficult, it's hard, it's a bug world, it's a monster world. There's just bad people everywhere and it's just hard to set up a foothold. So every time that somebody dies, a character dies, another one comes down to try to continue to establish the foothold that was set before them. And everyone's cryogenically frozen and waking them up takes a long process, so that's why they're only woken up one at a time. So every time a hard mode character a hardcore character dies on this playthrough, I'm actually going to be bringing in one of you guys, and I'm going to start with the people that support me on Patreon. So if you support me on Patreon, uh, I'm going to bring your name in, and you'll actually be one of the characters in this game. And you can either, if you know what your character, if you know what you want your character to look like, you can tell me, or we can actually sit down together, and I'll create your character for you, customized, and uh, you'll have your name and your character will be brought in, and then you'll be the one trying to establish a foothold on this world. So currently, it's me, because I'm me, and I have to be the first one to start this. But if I don't succeed, one of you guys can be brought over. And once we get through all the people that support me on Patreon, we're actually going to be going into the comments lists and my subscriber list, and we'll be pulling you guys from there. So if you're a subscriber or you comment, uh, you'll be first to go. It's obviously going to be my Patreons, then my subscribers, and then the people that comment. So, let's go ahead and get started into this with the first person to colonize this world, Giz, which is me. Alright, and we are playing on 1.14 unmodded, uh, just because we don't have the ability to play 1.14 modded yet, which is very unfortunate. Um, I'm hoping for it to come out within this year, I'm really hoping, uh, but we'll see. Alright, so the first thing we obviously have to do is set up a base, a safe point for us. So that way, when the monsters come to try and attack us, we can survive. This is our planet. We control this world. Nobody can tell us otherwise. 
Oh, and so, in the drunk world, instead of having the guide spawn as the first person, what we have is the party girl, is the first person, the first NPC that you have. Which is really cool. So, just in case you guys didn't notice that. Uh, another cool thing about this world is I'm going to tell you guys basically all the cool things as we go and we see them. Uh, these trees, they're, they're considered like vanity trees. They show up a lot more often in this world as well. Uh, so, usually there's like a, I think it's about a 5% chance for them to show up or something like that. Uh, in this world, there is a 15% chance of them actually showing up. So you'll see a lot more vanity trees. So, And the slime's going to be very difficult because we are playing on a very hard world. But luckily, that NPC tends to do a good amount of damage to uh, enemies. It should be pretty simple. But we're going to go ahead and grab sunflowers because we always like sunflowers. The first thing I like to do is find sunflowers and then place them a certain distance away so that way you always have the sunflower buff. Alright, we'll place it in here. Oh, and another thing is, um, living trees are a lot more likely as well. Uh, so you'll be finding a lot of living trees in this world. I mean, more living trees than you could ever imagine what to do with. So. Hey, and there's an opening to the living tree right here. That's going to make things easy. Awesome. And we just got a better weapon. So we have a wooden boomerang. Which is better than what we currently have, which is just a wooden sword. So. Uh, I'm actually playing with the Calamity Texture Pack, uh, if anyone wants to know, or decides to ask in the, ask in the comments, if anyone decides to ask. Right, I can speak the English very well. Right. And I always grab my chests, just so if you use a Spelunker Potion, uh, it's not going to show up, but you'll be able to uh, know that you've already gotten these chests. Oops, I meant to loot all, not deposit all. Uh, Lucky Radar, definitely going to use that. All right. So always grab your chests, so that way they don't show up on Splunker Potions. And you know where you've already been. Alright, let's continue down the tree. Uh, nothing entirely useful at the very bottom. Just more chests. Ah, oh, and another thing in this is, there's a vanity item. The Moon Lord Legs. So a lot of players were asking for the Moon Lord to have legs in this, uh, in Terraria. And they didn't put it in, but inside of this world, they did put in Moon Lord's legs, which is really cool, because what it actually does is it gives you some movement buffs. Uh, so I actually move faster, I can jump higher as well. Uh, so it's really a cool thing that they've done uh, inside of this secret world. You can only access them in the secret world as well. Ooh, a golden chest. Lucky, ooh, and, and an anvil. So we don't have to worry about making our own. And a beer keg, because why not? Anything useful? Wow, nothing useful in there. Okay. Oh, that wasn't the golden chest. That was just a regular chest. Uh, where's the golden chest? Is there not a golden chest in this house? Oh, that's odd. Yeah, that was just a regular, regular chest. Oh, that's a bit confusing. Let's go ahead and grab these. Might as well. Yeah, but I'm surprised that there's not a golden chest in here. You would think that there would be, because it's a, it's a house that should have one. Hmm. Not sure what's going on with that. Hello, Nzi. Alright. Let's continue. I also realized that I said I was going to build a house, and then didn't build a house. So. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Well, this could be the end for me right now. Uh, apparently we're near the Crimson, or Corruption. Uh, also, another fun fact, the Crimson and Corruption both spawn in this world, so you'll have to face both of them. Both bosses, both enemies, and you have to deal with both of them spawning in. Of course, if one of them does go away in hard mode, uh, when you spawn in hard mode. Yeah, looks like the Crimson, or Corruption, I keep saying Crimson, I mean Corruption, spawned right there. That's not good. Alright, we've got the buff there. So about right here. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, we'll place another one here. Just in case it somehow gets past this. Alright. Let's 
So I don't want to go any deeper because that does go into the corruption area and that will kill us quite quickly. So I'd rather not die this soon into the game. That'd be very nice. Seeing as how I am the first person. Hmm. This is a pretty nice setup actually. I could make a house in here. I could. I don't know. You guys have to tell me, let me know in the comments. Should we make a house in here? Why am I this close? Why are there harpies spawning in? What is going on? Why are there harpies? There must be a sky island uh, right there. All right, let's grab the wood. And let's start to build our house, our safe area. Oh no, worms. Worms are just a nuisance when you're trying to place ground. Or blocks. Alright. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Nope, again, not what I wanted. It's fine, I'll take care of this at a later time. Right now, I'm just trying to get this area set up. Let's place some dirt there as well, just because I want it to be a little bit more uniform than what it currently is. Oh, I hate sneezing. Alright. Again, that's not what I wanted. I like the way the texture pack looks, uh, but they don't have the top textures done, so it kind of breaks it right there. And uh, that's kind of annoying, so I'd like to change it so it actually looks uniform. instead of looking kind of a little weird. Uh, I am going to make a underbase, a, uh, like a support structure, but I'll do that once we have the actual you know, base set up. First we have to get this place set up, so that way we don't die. Oops. I can't place it fast enough. Alright, that should be good. So for now, we're just going to make a really, really long base with a bunch of rooms, just so we can spawn in as many NPCs as possible. Because the first thing you want to do is just have tons of NPCs spawned in. Right. Ow. Get, get. Thank you. Oh, the party girl was slain. Oh, well that's sad. We actually don't, so if you get slain the first time, uh, you don't get her back like you do the guide. Uh, she has to come back naturally. So. Uh, that sucks. Sucks a lot. Happy hand grenade. Wow, 36 of them. Ooh. All right, let's place down one of the workbenches that we have and craft some doors. Four. Sure. Let's go with that for now. Right. What I ought to actually do is create back walls so that way bad guys cannot spawn in this area. That noise is one of the worst noises I've ever heard. Now I could give them very small rooms and be like, okay, here's your room. It's like, you know, like a five by five area, except for the fact that I don't really particularly want to do that. Um, Cause eventually I'm going to turn this into like some kind of house. I'm not sure what kind of house, but eventually I am going to turn it into a house. Uh, so I'm leaving it kind of large cause this will be the first floor of a house, whatever house I decide to put here. And I'm doing this so enemies cannot spawn inside of here. So if there is a user made wall, behind uh, an enemy spawn point. They cannot spawn there. That's just the way that the script 
uh, works is it looks for you know certain spawn things like is the ground can you spawn under the ground like is it not lava is it not water you can spawn there spawn there then it looks for is the background a player made if the background is like you know dirt wall things like that they can spawn on it however if it is uh, wooden walls stone walls things like that anything player made it cannot spawn on top of it all right so then i'm going to create some more houses in here uh where is my wood ah right i got rid of i got rid of my wood and let's place down one of the iron anvils that we have there we go give us access to a lot more things that we can make uh, yeah let's create some chains give me the heavy workbench Didn't mean to place it that far away. It's so one block too far. There we go. Alright, and then I need to craft a sawmill. I need a... I don't have enough stone, I'm pretty sure. Nope, don't have enough stone to make a furnace. Um, hmm. For now... What was I making? Ah, turning it back into wood. Right. Noisy, noisy, noisy. Okay, we're going to do it about right here. I don't know how large that is, but that's where it's going. Uh, let's create tables and chairs. Tables. Four. And four. Alright. Oh, is it not? I don't think it's centered. Yeah, it's not centered. Yeah, I have to move all these over one. Because I hate it when a table. So, I don't have much. I don't have any armor. I don't have much of anything. All right, let's go ahead and mm, get some more logs so we can at least build some wooden armor. I think that's the basics of what we need to do. I'll get us at least somewhat protected. Yeah, we lost a lot when we lost our first body. When we kept a lot, but that entire cave area that we explored, we lost all that. It's very, very unfortunate. Ow. Oh, that was close. Alright. That should be enough to make some wooden armor. Something I probably should have done for my character. Oh well. Let's see. Yeah, I still have my workbench in there. And another thing is, luckily, we had found more than one item. Alright, so wooden armor. Hey, that's kind of cool looking. That's a nice armor set on this. All right, and let's go ahead and grab a wooden sword. Yeah, it does more damage, so might as well. All right, and then let's grab a fishing rod as well. Just because it's nice to have a fishing rod. And I might as well grab a hammer and a bow. So that way when we eventually get arrows, we can use it. Uh, I can't make arrows, right? Nope, okay. So I've got everything set up. Yeah. All right. So one thing we want to do is I don't know. Right. I don't have the map explored. Oh. Um. Oh. There's a golden ladybug right there. I want that golden ladybug. So now we just have to destroy the back wall, and then this room will basically close to be 
uh, being done. Will be close to being done. I can speak the English very well. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be like a crafting area and uh, chests as well, I think. I think also the in game uh, volume is a, it's a bit loud. Excuse me, bit of a hiccup there. And my cheese run called, fortunately. The microwave has this. Actually, my craving tea is like a thing you never do. I might just put it back in a pot and reheat it. Mike waving tea just sounds disgusting, to be honest. Uh, chai. My chai. Love a good chai. Don't mind any English breakfast either. But I love a good chai. I love the spices, the flavors, and whatnot. Alright. So, we're up to Echo. Echo, if you watch this, you're happy. You're now trying to survive in this wasteland of a planet. Okay guys, so I made the decision to go ahead and bring Echo back, uh, because he technically died through my own stupidity, he didn't die through the game killing him. Uh, technically it was a game killing him, but it was more so me not paying attention. I was looking at my uh, screen recorder, and I was also just not paying attention to what I was doing, and totally forgot that there were platforms here, so it wouldn't kill me. Uh, we are coming up on the, uh, the uh, video time anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm going to say 